guys where was I well we we did uh, the basic pages together but I must confess the decoration I did on an evening um, without you I just went downstairs with my family and I covered it all up with the decoration paper I must confess it took me I think three and a half hours or something like that to cover these two pages on so um, up so yeah that took me quite a while but I must say I am really happy in the end result it um, yeah sorry that I did not do this together with you but sometimes it's better to do that when you completely in your comfort zone and you can think and without you without think what to talk about and yeah <laughs> i think there is still a lot a lot a lot to think uh, to talk about after this all right so i'm gonna show you the walk through so as we spoke earlier of course i used these two sheets from the 8x8 pack to make that um that 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 mirror page so this is the left page and this is the right page um so let me first go to the left page and um on the left side i yeah i just use my leftover pieces which i love to use and um so i started with a strip on the left side so because i used that uh, corner punch and I noticed that I left it downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> then I used the background of this little page right here. So you can journal right here. Then I used all the little pieces to make a nice collage on this side. I used a strip on this side. And then I covered it up with this nice paper. Um, it looks like a um, door. Yeah. Embellishment piece decoration i have no idea how the world is calling but i really love to cover it up just yeah to make a nice leftover page all right then this flips up and um yeah i wanted to do um let me show you first this side so i can tell you a bit better so the rest of the right side of this one is actually pretty much the same uh, also used all my leftover pieces to uh, cover this up like i really love to do that use this nice quote at the bottom and you still can put a nice picture right here or here or whatever you place you like to add a picture on now we come to the next page and i really like that this looks the same and even even that oh i also can do it this way I think not with this one. No, I cannot do it with this one. But I bet a little better way it looks this looks actually better than this. But it's still it's still one nice page. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we flip this up and down. And of course, leftover pieces, leftover pieces at the bottom. Um so I used an I pretty much use all the 8x8 pack for this uh, for these pages. Um, so this I used at the top and this I used at the bottom. So for those who like to use exactly the same pages. Here um, the pocket I covered up also with some leftover strips. And then this tag. Um, I need, still need to do that. This pocket. Yeah. Of course, again, I started with some leftover pieces. I could not resist all, use it all. I just love it. It's quite busy, but still, I really like it. Especially with the brown and white edges. It really makes it a little more soft. I don't know. All right, so that is, I still just like it this way. And then on the other side, it's actually pretty much the same. I use this. For the top page, I used this one, and that is the same one as the other one. But so you can see, this is one eight by eight pack, uh, one by eight, one eight by eight sheet. But I just used, yeah, the bottom and the top piece, and then just a little strip. Then, of course, on the other side, exactly the same all the leftover pieces 
that I used. So it's a really a mirror mirror piece, a mirror mirror page. So if you can open this all up in one spot, then you can see that this one was the top of this one. So that's one page. And for the bottom, yeah, 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 see? Yeah, let me flip it this way so you can see it better. See, for the bottom, this was also one page. And the rest are just strips and leftover pieces that I used to cover it all up. That's why it took me quite a while um, to finish this all up because all the little pieces that just take a while but I just love to do that so yeah hey, hey. <laughs> um, where was my tag now where is my tag where is my other tag I just pull out oh I already put it back in yeah so I still need to um, decorate that but will do all right so these are the left this one is ready now completely ready so I can decorate um, these little loose pieces that I still need to use to decoration but I wanted to wait till this page was done so now I'm gonna decorate that so that can dry and then we're gonna start on the back of this page all right a mouthful <laughs> of words all right see you soon okay for now I will leave it like this so I used the the mixed media glue from Stamperia also and I believe you can use this on any purpose I believe I have no idea because it's in oh wait just a minute it's in English down below universal transparent glue water based suitable for all paper surfaces and 3d effects and then yep so yeah i did use this to glue the wooden spots on i also added some um, of this bronze sparkles on it so that was a really nice mix together so now i'm gonna let this dry and then i'm gonna put off all the leftover sparkles but for now i will leave it to dry and i'm very curious how this glue will dry when it's all dry because now i do see some white but i believe it will end up clear as it say on the description on the bottle so yeah i'm gonna leave it like this not too much not too too busy i really like how this turns out really am impressed how it all look very cute all right so now we go to the back <laughs> okay guys let's just start I was thinking from hmm, what shall we do on this page and I have still no idea what I'm gonna do but I just like to play around and see what happens just see go with the flow um, so yeah I am gonna do something um, first of all I'm just going to make a flippity flop on this side then I am gonna measure let's go crazy guys let's do yeah I always say let's do something simple but I never ever do simple well this are trying to do simple but I never came up with something simple yes but this time we are we are going to make a sideway pocket and I definitely want to make at least an inch away open so I'm just gonna eyeball that and then I'm gonna um, cut this piece you can make another hinge if you like I never like doing that otherwise you need to put something down to cover up your uh, hinge otherwise your paper will get stuck every single time so which side do you want the opening i like the opening on this side otherwise it will not be easy to put it out pull it out in and out oh my not used for a couple of days so i'm gonna check out here yep, here we go so i'm gonna check it out this needs to be cleaned 
Let me check real quick. I always check that before. Oh wow, now it's nice. Before I already use it because all the glue is now down. Um, that's the easiest time to see if your um, glue is not stuck. So now it isn't. So now we can add this perfectly on the hinges and to this side and right here. All right. Let's attach this simple pocket on here. Just stay away one, two millimeters away from the edges. It leaves us a bit better to use it. Here we go, the bottom. Simple pocket, all right. But of course, it's still not done. Nope, 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 nope. It's not done. Okay, next. What shall we do? Well, I think. Shall we make a full one, or just this piece, so you still can see something from this pocket? What do you like? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I like a full one. So I'm going to make this a little smaller, just a little a fraction smaller than the pocket. Let's make a flippity flop, but now I need my large one. And I'm going to make a 1 8 extra, just to be sure that we have enough space. All right, the first fold line to measure. Stay one millimeter away, stay one millimeter away from here. Let's cut this shorter. It's all such easy peasy. Let's fold your one eight carpet. All the way till the end, of course. And now we can add this on the right spot. Now I have a little thing in my mind with, and that is because of a page that I love is so much, but the image is so large and I still want to use it without cutting too much of that image. Here we go. Okay, so now this is a nice left page right here and a big pocket. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I like this image way too much to cut this down. So, I am going to add another page on here so I can use this completely page right here. And it's still too large for the bottom. But I'm going to think about something to use this complete page. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to add another piece, but I, it's not necessary to um, to make a complete same size. You can, of course, you can make it the same size, but then you have just a little left. So I think it's better to use the full one. What shall we do? No, I think it's better to just use what you have something like that all right so and it does not have to be perfect well it does i don't like things that not not be perfect <laughs> of course it needs to be perfect well 
we also we always can use some strips of course that you can make a little tuck spot so yeah i think we just can make another full page so let's do that so first thing we do is cut this the same size and then the next this one only needs needs um just a flippity flop you don't have to make it extra just one simple page one simple flippity flop then put this on here and then stay one or two millimeters away from that edge here we go let's add it on check before you go to the design paper if you have enough space check that first because now you still can cut something down if needed but I don't think it's needed I think it fits perfect or well, maybe just in case just in case I am gonna cut that little millimeter off just in case if it's better now then, then later. All right, so we have a nice big page. And you open this up. I, I can use that nice image. And yeah, I really like how that turns out. This does not need to be. And then we have that one eight left. Okay, that's cool. Let's keep it simple. Um, I think I'm just gonna make a, a magnet closure. Yeah, let's use just a magnet closure to keep it nice and tight and simple, simple as it can get with me. And I can do simple. Oh yes, I am. I can do simple. Peel that off. as it can get in a nice big pocket cool all right so um, the first thing that I like to do is um, decorate this piece right here because I was doing with this this piece okay I really like and uh, yeah I, I just can't I can't use the full one but and I don't want to cut this off, so I really need <laughs> I need to cut down this piece down below. But then we still can use the I call this yeah 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 yeah. I have no idea how that called in English, but I bet you're gonna help me out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my white papers on here and also on here and also on the bottom, and then I come back to you. Okay guys, now I'm going to start decorating this. Now the first thing is I want to start on the white side. And yes, we do need to cut down that piece in two, but it overlaps. Alright, so I'm going to start first with this piece to cutting down at the right spot. Okay, oh, so sorry that I need to cut that down. Ah, hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Hate it. But need it not. I 
I even could make, but then still it will ruin the picture. But if you like, you always can make a few cutouts in a paper, but yeah, to make pockets. But I think this image is way too beautiful to cut in, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. I love it too much. I love it too, too much. All right, now this comes on this part right here. See, it's only this little piece of the wing that you will lose. What? I also could have made those little flaps on the bottom to keep a complete page intact, but mm, mm, mm. I don't like that. What are the flaps for? Well, but it could be. It could, 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 could be. Now, I do have that piece left, but I really think that that would be a perfect piece to I don't want to overlap this just make this a secret pocket okay put this down and then of course the same size as this one I prefer using the 8x8 packs more and more. I believe, is this the first time that I use the 8x8 packs? Yes, I think I do. That it is the first time. And I really love it because the images are smaller, so better for me to use. Because the 12x12 the 12 12 I do love Stamperia, but the images are so, so big sometimes that it's hard for me to use. I know uh, some of you do make um, just nice layouts with these, and then it's perfect to use these as a background already. But did you see that, by the way, what I did? I only glued down three sides, so I created a nice tuck spot for this little strip. So this page has still a nice purpose where you can still add something in here. If you like that. Well, the glue needs to be dry, of course, first, but I always been, I'm way too fast, but yeah, <laughs> you get the picture of adding something behind here. First of all, all right. Cool. Something like that. All right, so let's go to this side. I'm just gonna decorate this piece. I don't know. Why not use this one for the background? What else would I do with this? I think not too much. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to cut the smoochy edges, because it would be no making sense at all if I use only one side of the smooched edges. Am I that picky? Yes, sometimes I am that picky. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. This smaller, I could, but I will leave it for now. All right, put this on the back. So I use one full sheet. Okay. 
Here we go. Now, let's see what I want for here. I really like a um, something nice, something perhaps using a nice clock or something like this would be nice. Or the back. Why I love these images way too much. These tags are way too pretty on the back. They are freedom. I think I'm gonna use the clock. Something like that. Maybe a nice quote for the bottom. Something like that. Alright. Let's put this back. Just use whatever you have. I'm gonna look on my pile that I have left from yesterday. I think it's a good way to use this. And then, yeah, something like that. All right, I'll be back when it's ready. <laughs> okay guys, so um, this is ready. Um, I already made a little booklet for inside here. The inside I kept it plain. The back I use this piece of paper. We really love it. Simple, but love it. All right, so now I go to this piece before I go to the top one. Now, let me further do this one because I do have something in mind um, with this piece of paper. And then how about cutting out this little piece so it's have a nice little tuck spot. But to cover up this, I have something in mind. And I know you would not like this, but I have plenty of, of, of all these cut out. So how about using these little pieces right here. And... Yeah, I'm just going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make these for square pieces. And so I can use them better. So that means that I'm going to use this full piece right here on top. First, um, well, first of all, of course, we need to measure each one is... I'm going to do this in centimeters, that's for me just a little easier. So that's, let's say, I think it's a four each. Yeah, let's say it's a four each one. So I'm going to make square pieces that are four by four. Let me start with the top. I don't think that I can use two pieces. Well, yes, I can. I can use two pieces. So let's make that first the top all right and then i'll come back to you okay update um so yeah i did use those little pieces on um yeah the part that i just showed you and now i am ready to put this on here and what i did is of course cut this in the right size like this and i'm better cutting out with my scissors so i <laughs> I open this up right away, down below, and you always can, if you are not trusting yourself with it, you always can close this down before you glue it on the paper. See, then it's all nice and square, and you still have that nice tuck spot where I talked about. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down. Then you can add little tags on here. I'm going to leave... Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. I am not thinking straight. Of course, we want that tuck spot behind here. Ooh. So only glue down this side, otherwise you don't have a tuck spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
going too fast here. Now the best way is, well I think it is dry, but otherwise I will let it dry just a little longer. Put some new on, new glue. Yeah, this is dry. All right. <laughs> Yep, see, only this side you need to glue down and that piece, of course, you don't need to put some glue on, otherwise you don't have a tuck spot. Yeah, 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 and as you can see, me too, I always, not always, but sometimes do make mistakes. That is just a natural thing to do, to make mistakes. Okay, so yep, here we are, and now we can use this for a nice tuck spot, or a nice photo frame, or something like that, but yeah, you get the picture of a nice tuck spot. Cool. I really love it. I think this one is a perfect one. Cool. Alright, so that is for right now and now we go to the top I really love it actually it's quite simple full page but still we have a tuck spot right here and a full pocket right here a little tuck spot here yeah it's not that bad at all okay cool now we go to the top and as you can see I'm very happy that we did use that 1/8 extra so yeah definitely we needed it we needed that here is that magnet where is it it's in here yep it's still working cool yep definitely cool let's go to the top what do we want on the top all right oh need to have the little lower <laughs> all right <laughs> Okay, the last update. When I was put this page away, I was thinking that these, these well, it's not glitters, it's um, sparkles, and I thought they would be too rough and too sharp. And I think in an album, yeah, I don't want to ruin the page that comes next to this, to, to the other side. So I thought yeah, if I would put some glossy accents to it, then it will soft a little bit more. And um, yeah, the next day it's dry. And I must say, yes, that really does it for me. I really like to shine now. So I have a quick closer look, see? This really is now much softer when I put my fingers over it. And I absolutely love the shine on it too. And still it has the sparkles. So yeah, that's cool. I really like it. Awesome. All right, so yeah. <laughs> that was just a little update. Now I go to the top of this page and see what we want on here all right hmm I was thinking on doing something with some envelopes it's been such a long time that I did something with envelopes and I have four of these with some with a nice little tag inside I really like to do something with that it's been a while that I used that method so I and I'm going to try, figure it out a bit what I want. Now, the method that I sometimes use is this method. So the first one goes on the back. So it has a, a flippity flop on the bottom. And then um, you can do one. But of course, if you flip this the other way around, just like this, and it's been a longer time that I did this, but if you just grab your 
envelope and just put it each time in the top one, then, <laughs> then you get a nice stacked kind of book piece within and each time you have a nice pocket. So each time, and I must say, of course, you can glue this down, and I will if I'm going to use this. And I really like this, even to the bottom. So yeah, I think that would be a great add. So what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this down. Yep, I definitely need to check my glue again. Shall we give it just a try? All right, we're just gonna give it a try. All right, so you just need to glue down your flap, of course. And then, did I just glue the wrong way? Yes, I did. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. This piece you need to glue down. Well, I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm going to use that when it's dry. No problemo. Alright, put this in here. Nice and equal. That's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me clean up this a little bit before those are bubbles. Here we go. Well, let's go to the next one. I think four is, a, is, is enough to use. Otherwise it really gets too thick, of course. And, and we do have enough space, but of course you do not want too much bulk. That is not nice. Okay. That's nice. Alright. Now let's see if I can use this one already. Yeah, I think it's it's almost dry, but I think we can use it already. Alright, so now we have four envelopes on here and of course we want now this was the only one we need to be careful but it's dry, it's dry already so alright so four envelopes I used and the top I will leave it open so you can add something in here. Um, how, yeah, and we're gonna attach this of course. So you can add a nice picture on the back, one, two, three, four times, and then still add your nice little booklets inside. So I really love that. So you can add all four of those booklets inside. Let me add this in so I can see right away how much, how thick this is going to be when I add everything inside. See, that's a nice thick book, something like that. We really like that. Alright, so um, by this way you can, by the way, put it in a... Uh, in a cut apart, so I am gonna grab a nice piece of big, uh, big underground pa papers, design paper. That was the word. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm be gonna decorate this, of course. Um, perhaps I'm gonna make a nice template to add a nice piece on here um, for each four of these envelopes. I think I will leave the back with 
just one more, I don't know. Um, but I am gonna first decorate this and then see how it all went because we definitely want a nice closure on here and I still don't know what kind of closure. Do we want something like a belly band or a ribbon closure? Everything is possible, of course. Everything you like as a closure is possible. And, um, but it would be nice, let me see something. It would be nice if I can add something like this on here and then yeah i don't know something something nice something i don't know i don't know just yet i'm just gonna make first attempt at for this one and i'm gonna search for some papers and then i'll come back to you the first thing that i like to do together is how do i make a template um Well, I do like that. Make it with a little thicker piece of paper. Let me grab some black. Let me grab some black. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this first in the full normal size that I would like to have my brown edges still to be seen. So that is the first thing to do. Simple as it can get. Just cutting the right size, the full. Alright, check that out. Yep, that's perfect to me. Now, what you can do is put this in here. So it's all the way at the bottom. And then just the water line. And then first checking. I am going to cut on the left side of here. Um, means that I'm going to use this side and then I'm going to cut that little edge already off. Otherwise I do need to cut two times and of course we don't want that. So let me check. Oh, yep, here we go. Now this one is for me perfect and this one can be just a little shorter. And if I did that, then I think I got it. Yep, yep, I definitely have it now. Yeah, all right, so now I can cut my white, of course, I still am going to use the white bottom and then I also can use this for the um, for the design paper, but then, of course, a slightly smaller than this. Alright, so I also can make right away um, one template more, but then a little smaller for the design paper. That's all up to you. All right, so I'm gonna use my template for the white four times and then for the design paper also. Okay. Okay, guys, um, how far am I? <laughs> well, um, at least I, oh my goodness. Planning, planning is not my, hey, wait a minute. I thought I had that white already ready, but. Oh, anyway, this is going to be the background of my envelope stacked pile. So this is the one I'm going to use. Let's make it a little more smoochy 
love to do that to make it a little more old and smoochy. That's way better. Okay, so this is going to be on top of here. And of course, I have that white edge. thought I had cut that out, but I think I already used it, perhaps even for this one. Um, then, um, like I told you in the beginning, um, I would like to have this as an incision in here. But then I was thinking of that closure. And I think it's better that we just glue this on top with a um, base underneath here. So this, this, this little thing right here is already the decoration. But uh, I think it, this is really better. So I can wrap this and glue this down on here. So that is the meaning of it all. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my design paper, which I use for all the leftover pieces. And create this, we like it. So this is gonna be on top of here. So actually it's gonna be the bottom. Okay, then this is going to be attached on this little flap right here. Because I was thinking about that closure and this is going to be fat. Definitely if you're going to put some photos in here. So we definitely want something that that you can large it up. Is that a good word? You can use a ribbon too, by the way. Women will, uh, using a ribbon will do the trick also for making it that it's possible to make it thicker. I was the first thinking of something special like this one or something. That will be also very nice. But if you close it down, you can't expand. It's not expandable. I think that's the correct word. So that's why I really like a belt. I think it will fit to, to all of this. So um, yeah, now this is ready. And now we are going to make the belt and I'm going to make the belt with this leftover piece and this little piece right here. Love to use these. Okay, now the first thing that we want to do is that it needs to fit in between in here. Because we really want, so it's going to be, I think... Yeah, one centimeter will do. So that means that I am gonna score to create a nice straight line. Um, not a half inch. I scored a three of an eight. And it is paper, so I am curious if this will hold or not tear it down, but I assume that this does not tear, or does it? Does it tear if I fold it that tight? Well, I think for a belt it will hold, I assume. All right, so now I'm going to make the next fold line. And actually, I really want this beside this one. Perhaps it's a better way to just fold this like this instead of using this one i think that is better yes it is otherwise it should have created right away a fault line yep this is way better okay now i am gonna cut this a little shorter Yeah, but 
Parida Param Param Pabarabam Param Param Now, if you're hearing some crazy noise on the background, that is Chica who just get a new bone to chew on. But I don't think that you will hear that in the background. I think the noise is too little to hear. Otherwise, it's that noise. It's the bone chewing noise. Okay. I'm still amazed that she, each time when I go up, she definitely wants to go with me. See if she will see that I am going to the stairs, then she already. Um, walk behind me and if I put one foot on the first um, step then she already jumps up on take me with you and yeah if she don't then I assume that she does not do that so if she wants to stay down with Chevy, then be my guest, but yeah, as long as you want to go up, then I just love it. Why not? Alright, so this is going to be my little belt, and it fits nicely in here. Now, um, I'm going to make this a little round, see if I can do that even. I think this is even enough. All right. Oh, I hope that I don't have to cut this in two, but I think I might. Or does not. Perhaps it fits all the way. Who knows? Well, the first thing we need to attach is this one on here. Okay, let's give it a punch. And then put this in here. Here we go. shall I use for that if I want to that, that this does not move which one the two which one shall we use for that mm, well I will leave it for now okay so now I am going to make a few holes in here um, perhaps I do have small eyelets I have no idea I have small ones. Let me check that out. Oh, yeah, I do have. Oh, these are really tiny. Really, really tiny. But they will fit. But they are in black, not in bronze. Oh, I don't think that is a problem. Oh, I even have tinier one but oh my gosh these are tiny never used those wonder where they are for oh I believe they were for here those tiny ones I believe they were for this ones something like that love these also got to use them again all right, now let me first check that out. How that works with my with my um, 
crocodile. Which one? Well, of course, this smaller one. And then I guess this small one. This one? I think. Yeah, I think it might be that one. Let me first check, 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 check it out. Always like to check it out first. Gosh, these are small. Small, small, small. Okay, this is fitting. Oh yeah, works like a charm. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna add these a few in here. And I'm not going to eyeball that, terrible and that, but let's just say that I am going to make a few dots, starting right here. Yeah, how much space do we want in between? I do not want too much or too little. Well, I'm just gonna make a few. I definitely do not see that when it's done. So I'm gonna use something else that I do see. I'm just gonna make each centimeter. I don't know how many, but let's say something like this all right so i'll be back in just a sec when i'm done and okay <laughs> okay i am satisfied how it looks and i'm going to attach it i'm not going to make it too tighter because definitely this is going this is going to be and it's just not even on the smallest piece but now you can make it expandable you can make it as thick as you want but for now, I will leave it closed like this. And then I'm going to search for the middle. And then I'm going to add this on the back with, um, I think, some tape. And that will do it, I think. All right, so this is my middle. Let me first add some tape on it. this way otherwise I bet that I am doing it completely wrong or upside down or something like that I knew myself and now I do it oh <laughs> even with this I do it wrong <laughs> I want yeah this needs to be this way oh my goodness mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am terrible. I know. I know, I know, I know. Alright. There we go. This is how I like it. No. This, yeah, this way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yep. This is the right way. How I like it. Now it's easy to... Close it down and open it up. Yep, perfect. I like it. All right, now I can add it on that piece of paper, which I still need to um, uh, put some white underneath. But I can 
let me use some tape all the way around just to make sure it will hold better than only using glue especially with the belt I really need that it stays down and then of course I'm gonna use also some glue but this is just to make it a little bit better secure Just a little bit better. All right. Now, um, before I continuing, um, I don't think that I'm gonna do something on the inside because otherwise it really is going to be bulky. Um, I am gonna add these little. I don't like the inside, but perhaps if I can fold it to the outside and then use. Well, then I also need something on the inside. Shall I just leave it plain on the inside so you can add the picture inside or you can write something down and then I'm only going to do something on the top or something wait just a sec we do have these ones that would be nice to use or these books well it's the back of course oh yeah it's the back so they are like little books. That will be awesome too. Do I have four of these? I think. Or did I use already? Oh, oh, yep. I do have four of these. Yep, I'm gonna use that for the inside. All right, so what's next? Of course, first of all, I am gonna put some white underneath here. Let me grab a piece of white. Well, you also can glue this down right away. It's possible, sir Vagabond, I am gonna put some glue on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love these papers. Oh, I wish I did not make them double-sided. <laughs> do you also have the, the that issue from, oh, why do they print it double-sided? I know you can choose, but I always think it's such a waste of ink. But I think, I bet there is some logical explanation for that. I bet there is. But for me, only one side to print it out was for me not better, but yeah, why not? Why? Somebody can tell me that. I have no clue. I have no clue. I can tell you a little secret. I am working on something for myself and uh, well not alone me and my daughter are working on something and um, yeah I am really happy how it turns out and uh, can I tell a bit about it I don't know can I tell just a little bit about it no, I want to keep it a secret. Well, anyway, there is going to be something new. And it's going to be a printable set. But I also want to try, try, but I think it's possible to make a touchable set with it too. And that's special for those who do not like to print their papers most of you don't have that issues with it but i know not all of you like to print their papers and i know it costs a lot of ink i know but yeah still it's very useful um, it's very easy to do uh, printables because you can print as many as you like and especially those papers that you like so you don't have to choose 
But yeah, so next Friday, I'm gonna go to a print, yeah, it's, it's the print shop. Oh, it's bigger, bigger than a print shop, but I have no word for that. But so curious if it's possible or not possible. Maybe it's too expensive to, um, because I am not a big produce thing. I just wanna print out a few for those who do, do not like to print them out for themselves. So that's just, not that I have hundreds of them. I don't want that. I don't have space for that. <laughs> but just to give a bit extra touchable papers. We're not going to talk about what kind of subject, what kind of theme it is, which size of papers it's going to be. I am not going to tell you. Nope. It's still in the working phase. All right. Ah, all right. Postman. Yeah, the dog <laughs> wants me every single time. Ah, and actually, I do not have to run downstairs, but yeah, some of the delivery men are wise enough to put my boxes or my packages under the, yeah, how you call that, wooden shallot in the garden. So some of them do that, but some are not. And for those who do not do that, they take the packages with them. <laughs> and then I have to pick it up in the big city or something like that. So, yeah, it's just worth to have a little one downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, he asked if it's okay to put my packages underneath the chalet. Yeah, of course it is. It is, but it is time a different man to do that. All right, but, Okay, so that is, the, I think I will leave this plain if I'm gonna um, add design paper on it already, then it's gonna be too thick, I believe. That I really like it, I really like how this turns out. I'm definitely gonna use these to cover these up. So I am gonna make four of these. Where's the other one? Here it is. <laughs> okay, and then I'm coming back to you and um, yeah, to show you the end results. And I do believe that this was, yeah, I think it's the last one for this album. So then I'm going to glue down all my pages and, but let me first finish this up. All right. <laughs> okay, and then this is done. Okay. Oh my gosh, I really like this page. It's so huge, I know. But I love it. All right, so we have this little belt that holds everything down. So in each pocket there is just, just a simple booklet. And so we have four of these. On the inside, I will keep it plain. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do want to keep it plain. But how nice it would be on the in. Oh, my gosh. I love that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna add some of these on the inside. Yeah, definitely, definitely love these. All right, so I'm um, not gonna keep it plain. <laughs> All right, so we have four of these pages, but if you like to add pictures on here, you still can. Of course, you still can. Um, so here we have the bottom piece right here, and then it all closes down so if you are making it more bulky with pictures or letters or whatever you're gonna put in here you can expand it is expandable with this uh, belt but if you put a ribbon closure then it also is expandable of course there we go to the inside I need to make some space here so then we go to the inside here we have just a little 
um, leftover piece and just a little tuck spot right here love it then we go to here a full page where you still can add your pictures but you also can add some pictures on the left side just to have that spot and then we have here a nice um, yeah clock with a label on the bottom and inside here a big booklet front and back covered with paper where you can write something down or you can put some photos in so this page wow it's huge but yeah i love it you still can add something here but i want to keep it a little a little solid as it is right now okay so let's see how far are we um so let me see this was page one then we have that page, then we have the waterfall, that's page two, then we have this one, and then we had that mirror page, and then this one. So wow, yeah, I think it's more than enough for in here. We do have I still have lots of space in here and uh, to create something on the inside covers so yeah it's time to add these on in here so what I'm gonna do yeah these <laughs> are pretty um, so yeah first of all I am gonna measure this um, how I'm gonna how I'm gonna um, split this in four um, how I'm gonna do that? Well, I'm just gonna grab a few little dots. Well, let me see if I add the first one with a half inch, that's two pages. Then I have, oh, wait just a minute. If I, I just, how many space do I have left? And then for the other ones, one inch. That will keep me enough space, I believe. But, 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 the last page is pretty thick. It really needs a bit more. So what if I create that 3-4? Let me check. 3-4. And then again a 3-4. No. Three, four, and then I have two and a half. Um, what does that mean? Because the next three, four is this way. How about seven, eight? Oh, I'm terrible at this. I know. I know. But then I have. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to start with a three, four. And then I'm going to split. And the 3 fourth is equal as 2 centimeters. Mm. Perhaps I'm going to do it in centimeter. That's better for me. See, because <laughs> this is 6. And if I split 6 in 3, that's 2, 4, 6. So, I, yeah, I think. Let's see. Yeah, about... Each time two centimeters, that will bring me the best I can split this. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Then I still have, so it's two centimeters, that's equal on three fourth. All right, so that is how I am gonna do it. I'm gonna make those marks at the top two. Split this in each two centimeters. Now I'm going to add it, the first page, as simple as it can get. Just put some glue on, uh, or you can use some double sided tape and add this on here. It's as simple as it can get. Yep, that's the best way I can do that. Yep. I'm going to do that. And the arc letter glue is strong enough, so yes, I am going to do that. Not going to use any tape, just glue. Good glue. Alright, let's start it. <laughs> 